Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Facebook tutorial video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your Facebook profile completely private on a desktop browser. So this is going to be either on a Windows 10 computer, Chromebook, or MacBook, anything that uses a desktop browser, such as Chrome or Firefox, something like that. So if you're looking to make sure that your Facebook profile, your posts, your likes, everything that you do on Facebook is completely private and under your control, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to do that. All right, so to get started, the first thing we need to do is simply go to facebook.com in our browser and then log into our account. From there, we need to go up into the top right, select the arrow right here to open up the menu, and then go down to settings and privacy, select that. And then in settings and privacy, the first thing we wanna do is go to privacy checkup. So Facebook has some built-in tools that allow us to make our profile private. We'll be going through these first, and then we'll dig deeper into the settings to ensure that our profile is completely private. So the first thing we need to do here is go to who can see what you share, select that, then select continue. And once we're in here, we just wanna make sure that we have the most strict audience selected for each option. So as you can see with my email here, I currently have it set to friends. If I select the drop down right there, it'll allow me to select only me, and that means it's private. So go ahead, go through all of these, scroll down, the next option is going to be birthday. You can select the options next to that. Make sure you have only me selected for your birth month, birthday, and then birth year. Go through all the options in here. You might have more than me because you have a more in-depth profile, and just make sure that you select only me for all of these. At the bottom, we have friends and following. So this is where you can set the privacy for your friends list, and then who can see the people and pages that you follow. So go ahead and select only me and the options there. After that, select next. Right here, we can limit our future post and stories. So all we need to do is find future post, select the drop down next to it, and then choose only me. Next, we have stories, and this one's a little bit different. So if we select it, as you can see, there is no only me option, but you can make it either friends or you can even select a very small custom list of people that can see any stories that you post. So go ahead and make your desired setting changes and then select save. After that, we can increase the privacy on our past posts. So go under limit past post and simply select limit. Then you confirm that you want to limit right here. And then there you go. After that, we can select next. After that, we're in blocking. So if you want to add anybody to your block list, this means they won't be able to see your profile and they won't be able to interact with you on Facebook in any way. Go ahead and select add to block list, enter their name or their Facebook profile URL, and then you can block them from Facebook. Select next and then select review another topic. After that, in the privacy checkup, select how people can find you on Facebook and then select continue. And our first option is going to be who can send us friend request. Go ahead and select the option for that. And the strictest, most private option is going to be friends of friends. So go ahead and select that and then select the X button to close out. You can also delete any pending friend request here if you want to by just selecting delete. After that, select next. And then in here, we can configure who can see our phone number and email. We've probably already done that. So just make sure you have only me selected for both of these and then select next. And then this next option is going to be pretty important. So by default, Facebook will allow search engines such as Google or DuckDuckGo or even Bing to list your profile in their search engine. So if people search your name on Google, they can find your Facebook profile. What we want to do here is make sure that we have this turned off. So if you see it as blue like this, go ahead and toggle that off. And then that will stop Google from listing your profile in their search engine. Select next and then select review another topic. After that, we want to go to your data settings on Facebook, select that and then select continue. And in here we can see what apps or websites have access to our Facebook profile and all of our information. And what I recommend doing is removing anything that you don't really need here, because there's a chance that those websites or apps could be sharing your Facebook information on their websites or apps. So go ahead, remove anything that doesn't need to be here and then select next and then select review another topic. Finally, within the privacy checkup settings here, we're gonna to go to your ad preferences on Facebook, select that, then select continue. The first section is just about ads on Facebook, so select next, and we have profile information, and here we can limit what information advertisers are allowed to see about our profile. So what I recommend doing is going in here, toggling off everything so that advertisers do not have access to that information. Once you've done that, select next. The next section is gonna be social interactions, so anything that you like or follow on Facebook is allowed to share that as an ad with your friends. We can go to the bottom and turn that off as well. So where it says who can see your social interactions alongside ads, 
Go ahead and select that and then go to only me. Select next and then select review another topic. All right, so now we've gone through the privacy checkup area of the Facebook settings. Let's dig a little deeper into the Facebook settings and make sure we have everything turned off. And we can do that by simply going to the top right again, selecting the arrow, then going to settings and privacy, and then going to settings. Once we're in the Facebook settings, go on the left sidebar and select privacy. And then we've already changed most of these settings. So what I wanna do is scroll down to the bottom where it says how you get message request. And we wanna to go to potential connections where it says friends of friends on Facebook. Go ahead and select edit there. And we wanna to go to chat and then select delete received request. So as you can see, once I select that, it says you won't receive new message requests from anyone on Facebook. Do you wanna update the settings? Select okay. So this will prevent anyone else from sending us messages on Facebook. We can also go down to the bottom and make sure that no accounts on Instagram can send us messages as well if we want to by selecting edit and then going through the same drop down and selecting don't receive request and then close. So once we've done that, go over into the left sidebar and select profile and tagging. And in here we wanna go under tagging and you can see who can see post you're tagged in on your profile. Go ahead and select that and choose your desired setting here. So for me, I'm gonna do only me. Then you wanna go under when you're tagged in a post and select this and then turn that to only me as well. Finally, we wanna to go to the bottom of this where it says reviewing, and you can see it says review post you're tagged in before the post appears on your profile. Go ahead and toggle that on so it's blue like this, and then review tags people add to your post before the tags appear on Facebook and toggle that on. This ensures that you'll be warned if someone tags you in a picture or a post, you'll be warned about that, and you can actually approve it or delete it before it's actually made public. Once we've made those changes, go in the left sidebar, select public post, and you basically just wanna go through these. We wanna limit everything that we can. So who can follow me? You wanna go and make sure that that's only friends. Then we have public post comments. Who can comment on your public post? Select edit, and then go to the drop down. And you wanna make sure that this is the most limiting, which is friends. Then for public post notifications, I recommend keeping this as public because then you'll get a notification if anybody follows you on Facebook. So you can block them if you need to. After that, we have public profile information. Who can like or comment on your public profile pictures or other profile information? Go ahead and select edit here, and then go ahead and make sure that this is the most limiting as well. So friends is the best we can do with that. Finally, we have off Facebook previews. You wanna make sure that this is off. Basically, it allows Facebook to show your profile information, maybe your picture, things like that, on different websites other than Facebook. So I've turned that off so they can no longer do that. After we've done that in public posts, we wanna go in the left sidebar again, go to location. You just wanna make sure under location settings that for our location history, we go ahead and edit this and make sure it's turned off for any mobile devices that we use Facebook on. So this will stop Facebook from storing your location history. And this can be useful. Maybe if someone hacks your account, they won't be able to see your location. You can also go up into location history and delete any location history you have on Facebook. After location in the left sidebar, select stories. And in here, we just want to select the sharing option. So allow others to share your public stories to their own profile. Go ahead and select edit, and then go to don't allow, and then ensure that the bottom option allow people to share your stories if you mention them and select don't allow. All right, so now we've made several different settings changes in Facebook to ensure that our profile is private. We have a couple other changes left, and this is gonna be with our profile picture. To do that, we need to go to our profile. So select the arrow right here, and then select see your profile. Once we're on our profile, we simply wanna select our profile image. Then in the menu that appears, select view profile picture. And what we wanna do is select the three horizontal lines to the right of your username over here and select edit audience. In here, you just wanna make sure that you have the most limiting option selected. So that's gonna be only me. So select only me. And then you can select the X in the top left. Now we can go through and limit who can see our pictures. So go under the options right here and select photos. And you can go through individual photos and limit them by just selecting the image and then going to the same steps you did with your profile image of selecting edit audience and making sure that that's only me. But you can also do this with albums. So if you go into albums, you can find the album that you want to make private, select the three horizontal dots on the album, then go to edit album. Then in the left sidebar under edit album, select the audience for that album and go to only me and then save. So now you've made any photos on your profile completely private.
All right, so that's how you make your Facebook profile completely private. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Facebook tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.